back to my channel. My name, of course, is Just a Fun Guy. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. Happy New Year. I know I did, and one of my siblings was born a little earlier, so we also celebrated his birthday. But enough about me and my spare time. About a year and a half ago, I did a video that actually blew up a little bit called Five Ways to Destroy a DVD or CD or media of that matter. And today, I'm going a little old school. I'm going to show you how to destroy and basically what's inside one of these. You may be asking yourself, what the heck is this thing? It looks like the save file on all my games at Microsoft Word. You're not wrong. It is the save file logo and it's something called the floppy disk. The floppy disk was popular when my parents were in high school and all throughout the late 90s, early 2000s, and I'm trying to think of a time where these went extinct. Probably around the same time the DVD and our CD went extinct, and then downloadable stuff became available, and media storage like this became obsolete. But this became even more obsolete a more time ago. I don't know what I'm saying. So uh, let's, uh, let's, let's get to destruction here. This particular floppy disk was a backup of one of my mom's baby diaries. Now, I'm going to show you how this thing worked. You stuck it in the A drive, and this thing slid open. <clears throat> and when we get to it, I'll show you this little disk, like a little black disk in here that was rewritable and you could delete stuff on it and rewrite stuff on it as many times as you needed to. And there is actually a couple of uh, drives in here that have used to be like picture backups and then there was like a Quicken Loans tax backup and then it could have been like a backup file for Windows Millennium Edition for one point. I mean, at one point. So this was important because this slid open and then that's how the A drive, it was called the A drive for the disk. But considering this is a dissection of discarded floppy disks, this thing is going off. And this is the floppy disk. There really isn't any screw or nut or bolt that holds, actually, now there isn't any screw or not a bolt that holds anything onto it. So the only way to get into these is by breaking it. Break through the plastic. Get like a little padding inside the disc here. And here is where the media was stored on the floppy drive. It was rewritable. I mean, you could do whatever you wanted with it. It was brand spanking new technology at one point. And these are small compared to some floppy disks that I have. I'll be right back and I'll show you some floppy disks that are even older. Okay, I am back. And. These floppy disk drives are small compared to, to their predecessors. These floppy disks, they were, they held less information and compared to the size, these held more information and were smaller. These are like, twice as big. There's that one next to that one. But I take a look at this uh, floppy disk here. It was written on in 1986. These were written on sometime between the late 90s and I think the early 2000s even. I think the oldest one of one of those is 2000 and these are from the mid 80s. Oh I have a, a slip here. This, this is actually the directory of the 
A drive. This actually could have been like a, a Windows operating system at one point. This says volume in drive A is public domain, director of A drive. And the dates, the dates go from 83, 85, 1980. So, ancient. <laughs> I shouldn't say ancient because my parents were but your kids, but compared to my timeline, kind of ancient. So, with a little history lesson out of the way, how do we get rid of the media on the desk? First off, take this little uh, metal thing off here. Take your scissors and cut. Just cut away as many pieces as you'd like. And I can even do you one better. I have a pair of shredder scissors. They're multiple bladed scissors that can cut the media into even smaller pieces. And once the disk that stores the information is in a whole lot of pieces here, I'm going to toss them in the garbage can that is below me here, just like with the rest of them. They're all going in the garbage because they're not needed anymore. <laughs> Let's see the next one I'll destroy here. How about this one? It's orange and it's actually, it says formatted IBM 2HD, I think imitation was the uh, brand of it, it's, but it says on the metal part there. This part, it says, it used to be a reserve desk, quick and loans, backup, picture backup at one point, so it has been written and rewritten several times. It's time for it to retire. So, off the metal disc goes. Get the plastic off. Oh, look, you can spin it. I think it's, that's probably how it was written and rewritten, kind of like, like a disc, like the uh, discs that I destroyed a year and a half ago, right? It's like spins and spins and spins. Let's take you off. Take the little metal piece off. Use my shredder scissors. Cut. And I'm going to cut it over the garbage can here. That's the end of what used to be that floppy disk. So once I have stuff on them, I will show you. But these three floppy disks are blank. They used to have stuff on them, but not anymore. Let's see if I can break three of them in half at once. Get the uh, metal tabs off them. It's like uh, opening a can of soda. You have to uh, open the metal tab. Once the metal tabs are off, Put all three of them, and I don't think I could do three. How about two? Ah, uh, just do one. Hey, these things are a little more durable than I first think, and actually. I'll show you 
what an A drive looked like. Now that I think about it, I have an A drive in my room. Once again, I shall turn. Once again, I have returned. This is an A drive. The A drive was always the drive that the floppy disks would go in. It was always located under the hard drive and computers. Take a look at the A drive. Let's see if you can get a good view of the, uh, this button A drive looked like. And in order for, to put the A, in order for the floppy disk to work, you need the A drive. It stuck it in like that. And that's how the computer read the floppy disk through the A drive. And I'm keeping this A drive, and I actually have several floppy disks that I'm keeping because this technology is becoming further and further obsolete. One of these days, I'll show my kids and grandkids how computer media used to be used and written. Because in the days of downloading, you really don't even need disks anymore. Which I find find it cool and crazy and futuristic that everything you ever want to watch or look at, you don't need disks or floppy disks or anything anymore. Just download it on your computer. Of course, make sure it's from a legitimate site or else you're gonna get a virus or something bad's gonna happen, which I mean common sense people. So of course I cut I'm not using my shredders, so it's just bigger than this is to cut the media part into the garbage. What? Let's do the same. With this, uh, this beige panel looking floppy disk. Oh, cut up. And I got two more floppy disks of one's black, one's tan. All right. It's... This one's more thoroughly. Just to break it in half and show the media and the case was durable. Jeez. And of course, cutting her up. I'll cut this one up on camera. Show the destruction of what used to be this floppy disk. I'm going to see if I can destroy this floppy disk. It was a whole bunch of backups of Quicken. And if I undo this label here, I think I may even see something. It's like unearthing a surprise. Let's see if I can get this off with my scissors. It says my mom's name. And I think this was something made. F it says my mom's name boot desk made for Windows 95. So, Windows 95, that's uh, it's going back a while. Let's see if I can break this in half with the metal disc on, I'll show you. Easy. There's the disc that the media is on. Tom! Alright everyone, the camera wants to sleep on me, and I did find out Quicken is Quicken Loans. It's a different program, but same company. Thought I'd, thought I'd uh, let you know all that before I go spreading false information out on the uh, internet. This! Good. And 
of course there's multimedia shredders out there, but you'd probably have to like find some company that has one, or pay tens of thousands of dollars for one. But why do that when you could buy a pair of like what like two dollar scissors? They cut the media up just fine. May not be like to like NSA certification standards. But I don't think you're getting anything off of this. I showed you what this last three said. There's really gonna be no more talk. I'm just gonna destroy them and be over with it. One. I kind of got, got out of hand with this thing here. There's my shorter scissors for this one. Alright, second to last one. There's the desk, say goodbye. And the last disc I'm going to destroy is 1996 tax update disc 2 of 2. Now, I don't think my mom needs this anymore because if the government went back 25 years for an audit, that would just be cruel, I wouldn't. It? So, with all potential audits and 25 year old taxes, I now declare them done. Fill the door on your taxes and destroying a floppy disk for that easy. Last but not least is the disk. I'll cut the last disk up on camera here. That's the last disk, and that's all I gotta show ya. My name is Mr. Fun Guy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that bell button. Comment until next time. I'm signing off. So long, YouTube. We're clear. Alright. I just shut this thing off. Top. This. Yep. Back. Oh. Black button.